the word Uganda means United Ganda. So Ganda means tribes that came together to form Uganda. Waking up to know that you're going to see something different. Whichever trip that I do, I don't have a fixed expectation. I'm just leaving myself to be surprised by nature. It's a destination where one comes and other than seeing the gorillas, you can see the big five. It was a really, really special once in a lifetime experience and I feel very lucky that I got to do it. One of the things that makes Uganda special is that we have futurist numbers and that in my opinion makes Uganda authentic. It makes Uganda the real Africa. Above all things, it's home to fantastic, warm-hearted people. It's got a unique, diverse culture. And all this makes Uganda special. I love to share my country from a number of perspectives. The music, the cultures, the wildlife, the life of the people, the stories that each of the tribes that live in Uganda has. I've been really lucky to see a lot of Africa and Uganda really tops it when it comes to landscapes and sunrises and sunsets. It really is a beautiful place. The lodges we stayed in were I mean, unbelievably beautiful. They all have the most exquisite views, often put up top of hills overlooking undulating mountains. We've got some wonderful lodges that are overlooking craters, that are overlooking uh, savannas, wind impenetrable national park. We are a pal of Africa, gifted by nature in extremes. That's what Uganda would mean to me. This trip to Uganda has left me wanting to plan my next trip to Uganda. But it is more unique than any of the African countries that I've ever visited. What makes me very happy is when guests come back and they have a smile. That warms my heart. That is the biggest satisfaction that I have. And at the end of the day, to say that we're giving our guests the very, very best of a safari experience.